Hey everyone, Joey with Grapponi Mazda here, and today I'm going to take you around this 2020 Mazda CX-5 Grand Touring. Let's take a look. Alright, first things first, let's take a look under the hood of this 2020 Mazda CX-5 Grand Touring. Uh, there we go. Under the hood of this 2020 Mazda CX-5 that we're driving today is a 2.5 liter naturally aspirated four-cylinder engine. This engine puts out 187 horsepower and 186 foot-pounds of torque. Well, the 187 horsepower might be enough for most people. If you want to step up your game just a little bit more, if you upgrade to the turbocharged engine, you can get up to 250 horsepower. Now let's take a look at the exterior of this 2020 Mazda CX-5. You're going to see some familiar stylings, the same aggressive appearance as the previous years. Uh, it's still got the LED headlights, this nice chrome trim along the front, as well as all the Mazda Safety Sense features in the Mazda emblem here. This model is actually equipped with the fog lamps as well. Walking down the side of the vehicle, you notice these nice painted side mirrors, as well as a side mounted turd signal for extra safety when you're changing lanes in the road. As we keep moving down the vehicle, you're gonna notice, as well as in the front, these beautiful 19 inch alloy rims that complement this vehicle's metallic gray paint job quite well. Now let's take a look at the back of the vehicle. You're gonna notice some pretty familiar stylings compared to the previous years. It still has these beautifully designed LED brake lights, all of the CX-5 badging on the back, as well as a true dual exhaust. Let's see how much cargo space is actually in this CX-5. The 2020 Mazda CX-5 is equipped with plenty of space. Right now, as we open the trunk, you're going to see 31 cubic feet of space with all of the seats in their upright position. And you can actually access 60 cubic feet. And pushing the seats back is actually really easy. All you have to do, pull these levers. You'll have to push down that seat a little bit because it it's caught up on the seat belt. But this gives you access to 60 cubic feet of storage. And that's not the only storage this thing has. You're going to notice a couple little compartments along the side to store small items, maybe some tools for when you're on the road. And let's take a look under this trunk mat. You've got your spare tire, but what's cool about this is your subwoofer for your Bose sound system is actually located in the tire. I still can't get over that. I think that's the coolest feature. Now let's see how comfortable the back seat is for a man who's 6'2". Okay, so I had no problem at all. Seats, very comfortable. Like I said, I'm 6'2". I have plenty of room. I do have the driver's seat pushed up a bit, so I would have a little bit less. But overall, I could say I could see myself sitting back here, taking a road trip relaxing you have all the comfort you have your climate control right down here this armrest two cup holders essential and you're going to notice that you get two usb 2.1a ports so you can have all your devices charged from the back this model is equipped with a nice white leather it's got the perforated seats and personally, I think white leather in a car is very classy and it adds to the luxurious feel of the Mazda brand. We're in the front of the car. As with every Mazda vehicle I've ever sat in, I am extremely comfortable. This is, a, these seats, very supportive. The headrest gives you a lot of support on your neck, a lot of support on your head. Feels very nice. All of it has this nice white leather trim steering wheel is a nice size nice soft leather wrapped steering wheel and I, i'm impressed as as i say with every mazda vehicle i sit in it seems to always blow me away with the comfortability this vehicle is equipped with a seven inch touchscreen display to access all your infotainment features and the the nifty thing about mazda that i like is that you can actually you don't have to reach around and mess with this display You've got this nice knob down here, and you can access your entertainment, you can access your maps, your settings, everything without 
compromising your ability to drive the vehicle. You don't have to move your hand far from the shifter in order to be access in order to access the infotainment system. So right now I am navigating the infotainment system with the physical dial in the center console. Uh, I, this is my preferred method of navigation, but you can actually, this year Mazda, after much demand, introduced the touchscreen. So you can access your Android Auto, your Apple CarPlay, your Pandora, Bluetooth, all of those features, as well as your maps via the touchscreen. This vehicle is equipped with heated seats. It's not equipped with the optional cool seats, but you can opt for that. So you'll notice with particular models, including this one, you're going to get this nice chrome wood trim, as well as an awesome Bose sound system. Sounds great. The car itself is very quiet, so you can enjoy every bit of sound that you get out of that sound system. And if you're a fan of getting a little extra sunlight, you actually have the option to get a nice sunroof. Very hot today though. Now let's take this thing for a ride. I've driven the past years of this vehicle and I would say that this one is on par with the comfortability. It's a very comfortable vehicle. Um, very nice ride. Smooth. Uh, very quiet. You can tell that the sound dampening within the engine compartment is really working because there is virtually no noise in this cabin. Pair that with the excellent Bose sound system, no engine noise, no drone. You're going to be in for a quality audio experience. Mazda does something interesting for the driving experience. When you go into manual shift mode, not using the paddle shifters, you use the, the shifter in the middle, you're going to notice if you've driven any other automatic transmission with the manual shift option that Mazda is a little different in that it, it's, it's backwards compared to most cars. So Mazda did that intentionally so that to shift up you move the shifter down and you're in a higher gear. To shift down you move the shifter up and now you're in a lower gear. And the reason this is because when you're shifting a manual shift car it's more natural to shift into a higher gear by pulling the shifter and it's more natural feeling to shift into a lower gear when you push the shifter. So that's the reasoning as to why Mazda is backwards for most cars and honestly when you're driving and you're, you're, you're getting on the vehicle and you pull back you do feel, it feels like a better driving, driving experience which is something that uh, Mazda specifically has been praised on in the past. And right now we're going back around some bumpy back roads and it feels really good. We're hitting a lot of bumps right now, obviously, if you can see through the camera, but it's not as jarring as a lot of vehicles when you hit a, a pretty significant bump. Like this road is very bumpy the whole way and it's not loud. There's no unsettling noises when we hit a bump which is good to hear. And it just feels like the Maz is absorbing a lot of that impact the second you hit a bump. So whether you be on the highway, in the city, or even on the, the bumpy back roads, you're still gonna get a great driving experience out of this CX-5. Thanks for watching this version of Grapponi Mazda Walk Around. And if you like this video, be sure to subscribe to us so you can get updated on our future videos. And if you're interested in driving one of these bad boys, Go to GrapponiMazda.com and set up a test drive. I look forward to seeing you on the next walk around.